All right, how are you doing today? Today, let's take a look at Logic Pianos here and let's try playing all five piano players at once, see what we can come up with. Something I was just thinking about. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. I have hundreds of other videos, lots of Logic Pro stuff, lots of free VSTs, lots of music production stuff, all kind of stuff on my channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. And let's get into this. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below and all that kind of fun stuff. Anyways, let's get, get right into this. Go back to Logic here. For this, I'm just doing this completely improvised, if you will. And we're gonna start with the arpeggiator piano here. This is the only thing I checked out so far, so we'll drag that in there. And that's gonna give us our chord progression. We're just starting out with an Apple Loop chord progression there and the arpeggiated piano. So let's add in a couple more keyboard players here. We'll do the Freely. We'll do all of them, another one. And we'll just throw the simple pad in there as well. We already have the arpeggiated one, so let's just do that. And now we have something that sounds like this. Okay, now let's do some fine tuning. Let's turn the pad down a little bit because that's kind of loud. That's the broken chords. Or that's the block chords with the broken chords. Let me do some panning. Let me get some, well, which one do we want to have the most fills in? Let's just go crazy with this. I'm experimenting, I have no idea. Maybe let's turn the left hand off on these because since you have so many pianos playing at once, that we don't want too much stuff going on. Let's make the complexity of these chords more. Maybe put the intensity here, maybe more complex. So that sounds pretty cool. Um, we could change these instruments up. Maybe we want to do, um, let's see what's this one. Maybe the pegator we can change. We got some different piano sounds, but let's go for something completely different. What is this part again, the pegator? Let's put on the alchemy because there's all kinds of crazy sounds in here. We'll turn off all these effects for now. We'll get some key sounds. So we're just gonna do this fast because we don't want to spend all day. We can spend all day going through sounds. Maybe on, so we got the rhythm going on left and right. This one, we're still. The Frilly one, maybe we could change to, I don't know, this one. All right, so let's throw in a drummer. Indie pop sounds good, whatever, doesn't matter. We're experimenting. Bass player. Another thing we can do is we can use this chords here, throw a software instrument in here, 
This is good for the, uh, if we have some kind of movement going on with the alchemy rhythm pad or something. Let's get something more interesting. Rhythmic, that's what, we, that's what I want. So after some time of experimenting, I came up with this and basically as I was going through, we just take the different chords, like these pad parts, which just basically has the chords playing. You could get like alchemy and other instruments to play different sounds, some movement and such. Get that, we got this. I think that's just the regular basic pad. Then we got this. We got this. We got this one. We got this one. And then we got the bass, the regular bass. And then I just put a different drum beat on, like more dance kind of beat. And then all together, I added another chord section to the song. We got this. Yeah, and I added some loops with tambourines and stuff. So you could get some pretty interesting sounds just using the keyboard players. And we could do different genres of music. This just kind of turned out into some like dance kind of, I don't know what this is, to be honest, but it's just something. Another thing is with the bass players, like I have this bass, the regular, that's just the default bass. We could take those MIDI files and put them into other instruments, but the problem is there's a lot of key switches in those. So getting the right sound could be tricky sometimes if you want to do like a... You still have the bass part, but you don't get all the key, like the slides and the extra stuff. So what I did on the bass track here is I took this other plugin that I have called Bass Rift or Rift Bass or Bass, bass Rift, that's what it's called. And this is a pretty cool plugin, a third party plugin that you get all kind of crazy sounds, shape the sound of your bass. You can use it for regular bass guitars, like this bass guitar is a regular bass. Or you could get crazy and make it, you know, shape the sound differently. So if we're playing it in the song. That's pretty cool for this track. Basically, it splits the high end and low end. And then on the top end, the high end, you could uh, put all these different effects on here. There's all kind of presets.
So that's a cool plugin worth checking out as well. I'll put a link down below. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. I don't want to go into full detail. I actually made another video on this. So check that out as well. So there you go. Just some creative ways to use the piano players in the in the in the session players here in Logic. Um, this song in particular, you know, I'm not gonna do anything with it probably, but I'm gonna experiment around with more. I'm just seeing what I could come up with. It's just really cool. So, anyways, let me know if you have any questions. You can leave them down in the comments below. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.